All right, this is a quick video meant for Scott Keller and the uh, Colorado NCR. Just recording how we're setting up an uh, incident group here. So uh, first is you go to your groups tab in your ArcGIS Online account and you click create group. And the purpose of this group uh, is for an incident and I'm going to leave it open as active incident. So I'm going to call it Colorado NCR active incident group and you may want to look at making a specific uh, incident specific groups down the line but for now this is a great way to get everybody into one group and sharing information uh, in, a, in a private or public way so we can talk more about that in a bit so I'll just um, I'll pause here while I type a few things in, and you'll see what I what I've got all right, you can see here I typed in a short summary and I just included that you can share private content, but please do not share personally identifiable or protected data. Basically anything related to uh, patients or individuals, this isn't the right environment for that. For now, what I usually do is make it so that the group can be viewed by everyone. That doesn't mean that everybody can get in and see the content. It'll just make it easier for people to self invite themselves into the group. Uh, over time, you may pare down that restriction, but as you begin uh, building this environment, it just makes it a lot easier for you to send an email to the NCR and get everybody into the group. Um, who can join this group right now? I suggest you leave it to everyone. After you think you've got a core group of people in the first wave, you can lock it back down to uh, those who request membership and are approved. But for now, I would just, um, no one's going to find this group very easily. Um, it's just a matter of sharing out through an email and then anybody who gets the email can join and then you can start setting up some restrictions over time. Uh, I would allow uh, group members to contribute content. That's actually the goal of this group. Uh, over time, you can set up guidelines on what's the right type of content to share in. But I think for now, you want all your group members to be able to share. And then uh, what items in the group can its members update? This is a very specific uh, tool and uh, I don't want to get too far into it now, but this is really when you're trying to keep your group just to your ArcGIS online organization. Um, so I highly suggest just leaving that to uh, only their own items for now. And then who can see the list of members on the members tab? I don't see any reason it should be transparent. Allow all group members. A couple of little tips and tricks here is you can sort group content by title, but generally people aren't looking for things alphabetically. Uh, I like to actually do date modified descending, and that makes the most recent content pop to the top. That's just an approach that I use, and you can change that later. This is a great new setting where you can actually say, by default, I only want apps to show up. Um, doesn't mean that you won't be able to find the layers, but this just means by default when the group loads, you don't see all the layers and maps and little bits and bobs. You, you would just see the, uh, the apps that are shared into the group. I think for now, I'm going to leave this to all, um, but you can always go back in and restrict that later. And then you create your group. So you'll see the little thumbnail I put there for the logo. Only the person who created or manages this group will see all these little editing things. Uh, this is a good chance to go in and put maybe a little more information into the description. Uh, for now, I'm going to copy and paste that in there, but you can put links in here, quick links to other websites, and you can elaborate more on the purpose of this group. Uh, for now, I think it's a good idea to put um, your point of contact information. So I'm going to stop for a second. All right, I'm just going to copy and paste some information. I actually put this into your, uh, your ArcGIS Online profile. that a little bit easier all right so I just uh, added some more contact information in there to make it a little bit easier to get a hold of people and then uh, let me just show you the member setting uh, so right now Scott's the only person in here Within the organization, there's only two users right now, but I'm going to add Beth and um, we're going to upgrade Beth from a member to a, uh, a manager for the group. So that means there's two people now who can kind of log in and uh, manage membership or content or other things. And uh, as you grow out your NCR org, you can add more people. 
Now, to invite someone from outside of this NCR um, ArcGIS Online account, you click on the Invite Users button. So you're not creating accounts, you're just inviting other people. And since we're going outside, you'll uncheck this little box. And um, I happen to know my external ArcGIS Online account name, so I'll just type that in and I'll invite Paul. Uh, but when I go to accept this invite, um, I have to go to my groups tab and accept it. It doesn't automatically put someone in a group. Uh, that's one way to get members into this group. And it's probably the more administrative way and takes longer because you need everybody's ArcGIS Online names. Uh, the other way to do it is because we made this group discoverable, when I click share, I can send this link to others outside the organization and they should be able to use this link to sign up. And I'm going to test that uh, here in just a moment. Okay, first, I'm just going to show you what it's like to receive that invite, but I'm going to uh, show you that from now being signed in as Paul Doherty at Napsig. You'll see here I got in a little alert that's telling me I have an invitation. I can click there or I can go to my groups tab and usually there'll be a little notification there that I've been invited into a group. Please note this doesn't create an email, so you really have to tell people when you've invited them, unfortunately, at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm actually going to decline this because I want to test uh, another way to get into the group. So I'm going to decline this for now. And then um, I'm going to test using that link that uh, would get emailed out. And this time I'm going to say join this group. This is the way people can self-register. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my ArcGIS Online account. And now if I click join this group, I sh I'm now a member of the group. Again, you can make this more restrictive later so you don't have random people joining your group. But early on in an incident, this is the way I suggest doing it. All right, uh, there's probably lots more to show you, but I'm going to stop here now because I think that's the most basic administrative information you need to, uh, to get this up and running next time or to maintain it going forward. And I'll make uh, more videos if that's helpful later. All right, thanks a lot.